Hey guys, it's BNL and welcome to Rayman 3. We're playing... Uh, I'm just gonna go straight into it. We're playing the PS2 version, uh, in particular in Europe. And this is the first time you guys are seeing a capture card. So I'm gonna pick the English underpants and I'm gonna show you what I think more games should do. And basically, they just have a nice little trailer for about two minutes at the beginning. You can skip it if you want. But I think what makes this great it's the fact that, knowing nothing about the game, if you guys don't know anything about this game, you'll just watch this trailer and you'll just be like, man, got some jamming music going on. It's got some pretty neat visuals, put some editing in. And it gets you all hyped for the game. It's like, yeah. Look how awesome this game looks. Woo! Now, now if you're playing the uh, Xbox 360 version, which I also don't know if it's on PS3, it probably is. Um, this video is not in it. Everything else in the game is there, so. Anyway, I haven't really been talking much about the the game. I've just been going like, wow, look how cool this video is. Whoa! <laughs> so if you may remember, years back, I did a... Uh, and I... <laughs> You, you can watch it if you want, but uh, years back I did a Let's Play of uh, Rayman 2, um, the uh, the PS2 version, so it was the Revolution version, and uh, let's just say that I have not felt quite ready to play Rayman 3 in a while, mainly because I didn't want to record stuff without a capture card, and now I have one, so it looks alright. It ain't perfect. Uh, the the imperfection comes from the fact that I um, have a uh, an AV to HDMI upscaler, but it handles it at 60 hertz, and I'm playing at 50. And the problem is, I can't. Even though I can play, like put it at 60, it just doesn't come through. So, yeah. So we're gonna set 16 by 9 just in case. Anyway. Uh, I can't go out. I can't go out and show you that logo. Woo! <laughs> okay. So anyway, so, I guess we're gonna start playing, uh, the game. Uh, we're gonna pop the name in. I can't- I can only fit five letters, so I am literally gonna do B-N-D-O. That's- that's what I do. Um, yes, I will put this on the memory card. And yes, this is an authentic, 100% authentic PS2 from... I want to say it's now 15 years old. Jeez, I feel so old. So anyway, so we start the game off. Of uh, classic Yubi. I'm glad they've never changed. <laughs> yeah. So this game came out 2003. I believe that may that would have been four years after the after Rayman 2. I don't. I personally don't really know much about the first one, uh, but I know everyone, tons of people have played Rayman 2 and. Rightly so, it's been ported to a bajillion devices. And there's a 3DS version if you want to play that. Um, I actually own a version on Steam for pre-ordering Rayman Origins, but uh... Yeah. So, this intro, full motion video thing, and it's 2003, so I guess a lot of things were full motion video. Basically, it's a little bit of setup. It's purely like, who's this guy? Why is he hitting the red things? Uh, he's flying around. He's got that classic 2003 look about him, you know? Ooh. I don't know why. It was just a thing in 2000. The early 2000s. Well, not even the early 2000s. Basically, around the time Half-Life 2 and Doom 3 were a thing, a lot of games had just kind of the same style. I mean, I guess you can say it's true nowadays, and I I definitely agree. You're going like, what's going on? Ooh. This looks like a pretty mean looking dude. But, uh, yeah. I guess a lot of games kind of do look the same-ish from this time period. So you're like, oh no, I got I I want Green Man to, to go ahead and I'm 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 talking if you don't know anything about this game. You may have played this game. If so, then you would maybe have kind of mixed opinions about this because overall people in 
a lot of people will say this isn't as good as Rayman 2, but depending on who you ask, they'll either say it was still good or it was absolutely terrible. So, so here's a bit of setup. Ah, uh, there goes Rayman's hands. Ooh, and then conveniently, he's been. He, I don't know. This tiny little green dude can can pick him up. And that tiny little green dude is Murphy, which you may remember from Rayman Two. But anyway, here we are, Rayman Three, Hoodlum Havoc. Oh. So Rayman Three is an interesting game because unlike Rayman Two, it's basically a linear almost beat em up kind of game as opposed to as opposed to uh the more openy collectathon kind of game um and i i think that's more because of change of time Ooh. uh so in order so basically right now we're just kind of dodging left and right the hoodlums have a terrible aim and they can't get us we have to get all the lungs up until this point? I, I can't remember the point, but I feel like we've done already. Uh, otherwise, you'll just be flying around in circles and you have to pick up all the red lumps. But at some point, and I believe we passed it, you uh, don't have to keep picking them up, mainly because you got full health already. What's the point? <laughs> you'll also notice the game has a lot of voice acting, which I shall half bring up and half not bring up, because when I'm talking, I can barely hear the TV. <laughs> So, uh, you may also notice score. That was a thing. We'll have that explained in a in a moment, and I'll I'll be a little quiet for that. <laughs> How's it hanging, Weena dog? Whoa! Come on, I'm kidding. Hey, I like that outfit on you. When does it come off? <laughs> Don't be so touchy. Here, check out what I found. The manual. The manual. It's all in here. If you read the story, you'll find your way out. Once upon a time, there were lumps. Harmony, love, peace. Boring! Suddenly, a black lump transforms the red lumps into hoodlums. The world is in great danger. Ooh, here we go, here we go. It says here that Glowbox took off with your hands. Knowing what a scaredy cat he is, he's probably hiding someplace. It's not gonna be easy to get your hands on him. <laughs> hands, no pun intended. Oh, uh, by the way, I forgot to mention that every action wins you points. Let me demonstrate. Keep an eye on the counter. Ooh. Whenever you score points, the indicator appears, and you switch to combo mode. This is where things get really cool. In combo mode, your actions are worth even more points. But you gotta act fast. If your scoring stops, combo mode stops. One last thing. Points can buy you access to hidden levels, so try to score big! This basically, the hidden level thing is a little bit here and there. There's basically bonus levels that you can get, and it even said, like, you know, bonus level at a thousand points. Uh, so, basically, this is very different from Rayman 2, isn't it? You know, it's still generally the same controls, but you're going like, what's with this kind of dealio with the chicken -o? Well, Not chicken, but... Picking up gems, we're getting points for hidden things, there's a combo bar, and I'll basically explain the combo system uh, in, in greater detail. So basically, when you pick up your, when you get some points, it brings up the combo bar. The next five things you get, I believe double, uh, are double the value. Then the next five things after that are triple, the next five are quadruple, and then, uh... I can't remember if quintuple or sextuple is the last one, but basically every five, um, like, ups the amount. Now, ideally, you want to collect the low value stuff and so that your high value, like, items, uh, because generally, like, you'll see there's, there's two red gems over there. And the red gems, uh, it chop out of your hair. These red gems give you 30 points, so having them with a greater multiplier is a lot better. Um, there's also no subtitles, which is a little bit of an issue, and I apologize for that. If I, if I ever do games with voice acting, I will definitely turn on subtitles, because I like talking over it, and also it's so I don't get copyrighted all the time, you know? Um, otherwise, general, general stuff, um, oh, 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 yeah, so, basically, the, uh, points just uh, unlock, uh, bonus levels. They're not really used to, to 
proceed through the game, and I'm not going to be doing like a huge 100% playthrough, because honestly, I don't really know uh, 100%. And also, collecting all the gems in a perfect like run is not the easiest thing to do. You can, um, I, can't, I can't remember if you can do it via the menu, I don't think you can actually. You have to do basically every level in a good run. If you collect a gem and then you die, bad luck. You gotta basically redo the thing. But all they do is they unlock a couple of bonus levels. I'll show off the ones I do get. Mechanism. Duh. The manual does not have voice acting and therefore does get subtitles. Um, other than that though, I'll explain the controls a little bit. Um... This beginning part without your hands is a little weird because it's not like it ever happens again. All you have to do is just smack the barrel. Excuse me, you stuck the score up in the top. Woo! There we go. Easy enough. Something bad is gonna happen, I know it. Something bad's gonna happen. So basically, uh, now that we have the punch, uh, we can, instead of just kind of standing still to kick, we can now charge up a punch and we can actually punch this thing in the face. If you charge up a punch, you can kill it in one go, but other than that, it takes like, I want to say two hits, that one. Generally, though, you want to do that as well. Hello, uh, stars. Hello, nature. What's your name, little flower? Rose. My name's Globox. Nice. <laughs> we got more cutscene. Wow, Rayman, you turned on the lights. Pretty. Bam, bam, bam. What I tell ya? Here come the thugs again. <laughs> oh, jeez. They're raiding the fairy council. Enough is enough. <laughs> I was told that after Rayman 2, I'd be cast as a tormented artist who falls for a girl with great big eyes. And here I am, still playing a sidekick in a low-budget flick. Yeesh. So, you may also kind of notice that the cutscenes don't quite line up with the dialogue the best, and I feel like that's because they're supposed to be in French. I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, you'll see that the level scores it basically tells me that I suck a lot. Uh, each level is split up into several, um, kind of stages. Uh, for the most part, most, the majority of the levels have about six stages. So we're currently on the third stage. Um, the fifth level is the longest one, I believe it has eight. Uh, and then the following two levels only have three, so they're actually rather short. Uh, but this one, the, uh, it sounds like it's, it's pretty long, but honestly... Honestly, it, it finishes pretty soon, and I'm going to be doing the entire first level this part because I think I feel like that'll be a good cutoff point, mainly to show you guys how cool this game is. Although it gets it gets more into it um, in the later levels. So uh, basically, we're now getting a bit more control um, stuff. So you, so basically, Rayman is your standard kind of it's a platformer. Uh, you can also make a helicopter. Copper. I keep saying helicopter all the time. And it's a really bad habit. You can make a heli helicopter. You can hover by holding down the, the jump button, which is nice. Um, you can also throw your fist, literally. And um, unlike <laughs> unlike Rayman 2, um, also that line. <laughs> Whoever did the writing on this game, whew, and that's that's one reason why Rayman 3 is maybe not liked as much, because it's very different. Not only thematically, but also in terms of gameplay, which we'll get to in a bit, but for now. Eh. He's rich. He has money on his head. So now we'll get into the beauty of side attacking, which is that, basically. Ah, 
Whoa, what could this be? The laser detergent that transforms your clothes into combat fatigues. Combat fatigues. That's exactly what we need. The first right. name Rayman is in the entire Rayman, game. No! Rayman, no! Oh, it might be dangerous. So basically, this is the first of the five kind of power-ups in the game. I don't know official names, so I'm going to be calling these the, uh, Wind Gauntlets. I don't know. Basically, the power-ups don't change really how you, like, it doesn't, it doesn't change any controls for the most part. Most of the time, it just changes your punch. So for this one, it changes into a bit of a tornado, which is great because it uh, deals a lot of damage to enemies. Uh, it's also good because uh, you can lower platforms like that, which is also quite great. Now, when you see that, that means I probably missed something in that stage. A lot of the time, there is a nice little like secret stash of gems and stuff in the level. The heart of the world. The other thing you may notice is, uh, by the way, any enemy that has a dollar kind of above their head, that means they drop one of those. So, there you go. The other thing is that, uh, yeah, whenever you've got one of these power-ups, you get double the cash. Double the, double the cash. Double the points. Um, is that really important? Uh, for me, no. But for people who are trying to get the, uh, highest number of points in the entire game, um, then definitely, yeah, this is an important thing. Now, here's a little fun fact, uh, the game, uh, when you beat it, it actually gives you a, a, a code, and you can, you keep updating that code, um, and the code, uh, lets you insert it on, uh, raymanzone.com, and that lets you, uh, Going on RaymanZone.com lets you put in the code and it's a leaderboard. And that's kind of neat considering this game was a bit pre-internet as a thing. Like I know Xbox Live was a thing and this is 2003 so... It's not, it's not like online play is kind of rare. I mean Steam just came out at this point so... Online distribution is becoming a thing. Um, but it's kind of interesting because like... It uh... Let's see it do like legitimate stuff. I, I just wanted to do that, by the way. If you see that kind of red thing, and it's sleeping, and it's got Zeds coming out of it, you need to walk up to it. So people on emulators are just going to be like, No, I can't do it. Can't do it, mate. Unless you're using a USB controller, which is how you should be playing on emulators. By the way, there is a PC version of this game. Um, not to encourage piracy, but, uh, yeah, I can't find a PC version of this game anywhere. I tried, I tried looking it up on the Pirate Bay, no, not even there, not even there. Uh... Oh my god, what is going on here? Would you mind being a bit more quiet? This person is a bit louder than everyone else. So he's hiding in something. So we'll punch this guy so we can get the, uh... The tornado gauntlet. By the way, here, I don't know where those are. I really can't tell, they're tiny, but you gotta kinda hit them a lot. If you wanna if you wanna take them out. And then you hit L1 to do a roll because you've been playing too much Tomb Raider. Uh quite recently I've been playing through um the classic Tomb Raider games. Um so I just beat Tomb Raider 3 like yesterday. And uh Holy crap, look, they're so long, and they're kind of annoying in design. You've gone too far, you can kiss your career goodbye. So you gotta stay. Uh, basically, you got you run and you jump. You can hit circle to come up with the UI, and I believe... Triangle is your, uh, nice little, I want to take pictures of things. Except it's not as good as the actual take pictures button. Select. Which lets you literally pause the game and pan around. Just fun fact for you guys. And I was like, whoa. Don't let him escape. Is that you, Mary Lou? Mary Lou? Beat it. Honor the world, you ugly. It's this way. Eh. Oh my god. It's an unspeakable atrocity. Andre is going to reach the heart. It's the end of the world. Ah! 
So there's other kind of, like, uh, things on the sides, uh, but for the most part I'll just be, like, sticking the... I don't know. So there's, like, a bit up there. I don't know if you can activate them after. Here, right, after you find Andre. Hey, if I were you, I'd call it quits and head straight for the Spider-Man 2 audition. Yeah, you'd rake in the dough and people would stop thinking you were my pet rabbit. Whoop. Whoop. The energies are split. The world's harmony is breaking down. <laughs> yeah, the Spider-Man 2 joke. That's definitely not a bit dated. And it's weird, because this is about the time Spider-Man 2 came out as well, so... I, well, it's, I guess it's not weird, but it, it's it's very strange to hear, you know. Now let's get some double points on this thing. It's it's I don't think you can really like put those things in combos because the timing's too hard. I believe killing enemies actually gives you a longer combo time compared to just kind of picking up gems. Can I grab? Yeah, that's my Tomb Raider. That's what I've learned. Grab every ledge. Uh, so the trick is you're gonna need this because you're going to need it. You're going to need it because you're going to need it. I am... Whew. Dude. Logic has never been greater. By the way, uh, if you ever see me kind of lock on like that, that's... Oh, well, that's that's a that's a thing that will probably play a bit... Ooh, jeez. Um, it'll probably play a bit more uh, part later in the game once we get into the more combat-y parts. Here's another plot device. Yeah. And then for some reason he's disappeared. Don't really know how, but okay. So we're almost at the end of the level. And you may be going like, but we've only done the fourth stage out of six. Trust me, the next two are short as heck. Trust me, dang it! <laughs> nah, but... Yeah, that music. I, I love the music here. Great. <laughs> it also it also kind of reinforces that different um that different uh kind of theme they were going for. Uh, I want to do the secret before we um hit the cutscene. So I'm gonna go up here. I I know this secret off the top of my head. I remember finding this one as a kid and going like, whoa. And every time I've been testing my graphics, sorry, my, not my graphics, oh, come on, my uh, capture card, um, I suck at jumping up here. Uh, I always go up here because this this basically stress tests uh, the the thing. <laughs> so anyway, we'll go down here. We'll go. Whoa! By the way, you see that green gem? It gives a lot of points. Here's a fun fact though. Um, you know how I said like you can build up more points by getting longer combos? If you hit a green gem after getting at least 15 things, it doesn't count as any points. It's a little weird. Ooh. This cutscene's a little weird because it does like a cut to black every time the camera changes. Oh, you idiots! Just what I thought. Andre isn't dead. We can't keep Glovox near the heart. It's too risky. This is a weird perspective. Raymond, Glovox is your friend. Take him to the witch doctors in Clearly Forest. <sighs> He and I go way back. He'll know how to get rid of Andre. <laughs> Look out, Rayman. Andre is a black lump, and black lumps are twisted. He may even force Glovox to drink plum juice. And we all know Glovox is allergic to plum juice. See you in Rayman 4. That is an understatement because I was way hyped for Raving Rabbids and then I played it. Oh boy. That's why I consider Origins to be like a Rayman 4 because I guess Murphy's in that one. But anyway, here we have probably everyone's favorite part of the game. The, the Teensy Highway. 
it's basically like a like a snowboarding kind of pop, but you're going along, along like 60s visuals. It's great. It's got jamming music. Excellent. And you'll see me die a couple of times, and you only get put back a bit. By the way, every time you get hurt in the game, you lose one point. I believe it also breaks your combo, uh, if you ever had a combo. Oh crap. Uh, the game will automatically jump for you, by the way, at the end of tracks as well, so that's nice. Other than that though, it's a nice little wind down at the end of the level. Not every level does this, but I believe the first two do. I haven't played this game in about, like, I want to say... I have saves from 2004 on my memory card, like that's, that's probably, I feel like last time I played this game was like 2009. But I think that this game still holds up. Games from like 2003 are a bit of a weird era where it's like, the, the trends of, uh, the, the trends of, um, early 3D stuff just kind of wore off and then it just mostly became uh, much more solid 3D experiences. I, I love the drop at the- oh crap! I ruined it! I ruined it! <laughs> Dang it! If you see like a bit of a flawless run of this then it may work better in the music but I like how the music tries, at least. So anyway, we finished the level, and we only got 95% because I suck and I missed quite a few gems, I'm sorry. <laughs> and with that, we end the first level. I don't know if you can tell. It's a little thematic, it's a little uh, aesthetically different, I guess. So anyway, I guess with that, we'll finish off the first part of Rayman 3. Hopefully you guys liked it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!